your name is honored and glorified in our midst we salute you and glorify you jesus you are our boss we therefore call on you tonight to rise up from thy kingdom against all unclean spirits contrary demons powers wicked powers principalities of darkness that have conspired against the success of our tonight gathering let them scatter in jesus christ's name i cast down your evil imagination in jesus christ's name i frustrate your agenda in jesus christ's name i render them useless powerless in the name of jesus christ we take dominion over the environment over the atmosphere over the auditorium the any spirit that is not of god and want to manifest itself in our midst we bind you in jesus christ name. we bind you in jesus christ name. All your, all your distraction on our instruments and whatever you are distracting we frustrate you in jesus name whether you are outside or you are inside here manipulating we frustrate you in the name of jesus we fire you out of this place we fire your mission in jesus name we citrate everything here with the blood of the holy lamb jesus christ of nazareth anyone that supports to have an encounter with jesus tonight for a life transformation let it be so lord let it be so let none of them be denied access of having an encounter with the lord in the name of jesus christ we pray amen clap for jesus christ clap 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 god bless you you may be seated in jesus name amen god bless all of you for coming in jesus name amen all right before we move on i want us to recognize the president of our father the apostle amen let us celebrate the grace daddy we recognize your presence here god bless you daddy amen and also the praises and worship team god bless you so much let's clap for them amen hallelujah and I want you to clap for Jesus for your life, for making it possible for you to be here. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. God bless all of you for coming in Jesus' name. I remember the program, the night of worship, you were here. God bless you, brother, for coming. Amen. All right. So let's turn our Bible to Mark. Mark chapter 11. What we are coming to deal with tonight, the enemy is aware and he started waxing his head, but he will die in Jesus' name. His plans will be frustrated completely in Jesus' name. Many of you are victims to this spirit we are going to deal with through the Holy Spirit. So the enemy is reacting negatively towards it but he has failed in jesus christ's name amen so i want you to say it quietly and turn your bible to mark chapter 11 the verse one we are dealing with this cross road spirit amen overcoming the cross road spirit that's what the holy spirit has revealed that we should deal with this spirit in our midst tonight in jesus name all right so we are reading and when they came nigh to jerusalem unto Bethphage and bethany at the mount of olives he sent them forth two of his disciples this is jesus and said unto them go your way into the village over against you and as soon as ye be entered into it ye shall find a call tight whereon never man sat 
lose him and bring him. And if any man said unto you, Why do ye this? Say ye to that the Lord have need of him, and straight away he will send him hither. Verse 4. And they went their way and found the call tied by the door without. They found the call tied by the door without in a place where two ways met. Amen. And they lose him. Take note of this place. In a place where two ways met. That is a crossroads. Hallelujah. That is what? A crossroads. And then he instructed them to lose him. Verse 5. And certain of them that stood there said unto them, What do ye lose in the cult? And they said unto them, Even as Jesus had commanded. And they let them go. And they brought the cult to Jesus and cast their garments on him. And he sat upon him. And many spread their garments in the way. And others cut down branches of the trees. And strove them in the way. Amen. And they, and they that went before. And they that followed Christ saying, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Amen. Let's leave it here. And they went their way and found the call tied by the door without. In a place where two ways met. We are dealing with the crossroad spirit tonight. Amen. The Bible said this cult or a donkey. It was tied by a crossroad. Without. It was tied without the city. Amen. The entrance of the city. Anybody that is getting to that city. They see this donkey tied by the crossroad. Amen. And the Bible said nobody ever used this donkey. It was just there. It was being tied. So it was there all the time. Amen. By crossroads. Hallelujah. Ask yourself why this donkey was tied by a place where two ways met. Amen. So the crossroads spirit is a spirit of stagnation. When it's fighting a man, it causes stagnation, delay. This donkey was there every night, every day. Anyone that is entering the city, they will see the donkey there. Amen. So when the crossroad spirit is released against you, you are stuck in everything you do. Be it your business is stuck. Hallelujah. Your marriage is stuck. Your finance is stuck. No movement. Because you are at a junction. You are a crossroad. Where two ways meet. Hallelujah. This donkey was there. Other donkeys were moving around grazing grass and they, are, they were grown, plumby, very fat, looking fresh, but it was there struggling. Hallelujah. It was restricted, it was limited, it, can, it couldn't advance. It was just at one place. Hallelujah. When it's raining, it's there. When the sun is scorching, it's there. Struggling, his environment was not favorable, his condition was not favorable, but he could not run away because he was being bound, he was being tied. So, when the crossroads spirit is fighting you, hey, you are at one place, no moment. You may be in the office, promotion will come, your junior ones will be promoted, and you are sitting there. Hallelujah! You may be running a business, it's that all things are there, they cannot. Go so that you will go and buy different ones and come. The one you are selling last two years, they are still in the shop. Some have caught their expiring days and you have run losses, debts. Amen. Crossroad spirit is a spirit of delay, stagnation, retrogression. Hallelujah. But thank God this donkey had an encounter with Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. You may be the donkey, but the Bible says one day Jesus. Send the apostles, his disciples, go into this city. The moment you enter, before you enter the city, you will see a crossroad. A donkey is tied by there. Yes, I'm tied. And some people will be asking you why you are losing this donkey. Tell them the master needs it. Hallelujah. And that was exactly what they went and saw. They saw the donkey by the crossroad just before they enter into the city. And those men were also there. They were monitoring. So the crossroad spirit makes sure they monitor you against your liberty. 
anyone that will come to deliver your hair, they will ask you, what do you think you want to do? Where do you think you can go? They watch over you. They monitor you. They make sure that nobody lose you. Nobody deliver you. Nobody set you free. Hallelujah. They are spiritual watchmen. Crossroad spirits. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you tired of standing at one place? Are you tired of doing the same thing? Then tonight you will be delivered. I say tonight you will be delivered. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This donkey was considered useless. Very useless. Because the Bible said nobody used it. Nobody used it. It was useless. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Some people are there. People don't add you to anything. They just see that you are useless. When they are taking decision, they don't put you there. Hallelujah. The thing you you eye for you, they are, you are not to nothing. You are not important at all. Hallelujah. Because of when they look at you, no change. They look at you, they see they are better than you. I tell you, those days, the donkeys that were at that city, I believe they wouldn't respect this one that was tied there. Every day you are standing at one place. What kind of donkey are you? And their colleagues are moving around freely. Amen. And it was bound there. But it had an encounter with Jesus. Hallelujah. The great Savior. And the Lord said, Jesus Christ himself knew that if I don't lose this donkey, I can't use it. I have to lose him. Some of you, eh, you are vessels God wants to use, but you have been bound. You have been tied down. Before Jesus can use you, you have to be delivered. That is why tonight you will be delivered. You will be loose in Jesus' name. The Lord will set you free. So that you can be useful in his hands. And when this donkey was being untied, was being loosed, Jesus used the donkey. Listen, that day, the donkey received honor that all the donkeys in that city never received before. Hallelujah. Listen. The, the Bible said the people spread clothes, some cut branches and they spread. Was it Jesus walking on them? No. It was a donkey walking on those things that were spread on the way. So the donkey was walking on a red carpet of honor. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus Christ. Tonight you will walk on a red carpet of honor. Immediately the Lord deliver you. You will go straight to your honor, to your seat of honor, your throne of honor in the name of Jesus Christ. That donkey was being upgraded, uplifted honored, highly elevated above the colleagues in that city. Jesus Christ, the anointed one, sat upon it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And they were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is the one that come in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't look down on yourself. Yes. Hallelujah. The master need you. Amen. Say, the master need me. Master. Say, Jesus Christ need me. And I shall be loose tonight. And I shall be honored. Say, I shall be honored tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are watching me, don't look down on yourself. Jesus is looking for you. When people are rejecting you, Jesus is looking for you. Hallelujah. This donkey was there. Nobody had time for it. It was rejected. Considered useless. Miserable. But Jesus was looking for the donkey. Hallelujah. Jesus is looking for you. Say Jesus is looking for me. To use me. To use me. The Lord will use you in Jesus name. I say God will use you in Jesus name. Listen. That is why you must not look at your background. Some people are restricted and hindered by the things they look at their background, the past records of failure, disappointment and all that poverty and they get discouraged. Don't be discouraged at all. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your background can be west, but you are the one the Lord is looking for. Amen. To change nations. Amen. To change your city. Amen. Praise the Lord. Crossroad. Say crossroad. crossroad. Listen. When this crossroad spirit arises against a man, you can't take any better decision. You are confused. It's a spirit of confusion. When you get to the crossroad, you are confused. Which one? Which way? Where am I turning? Ah, where is the road? You are going to a place at the first time. You get to some crossroad. You don't know which one. Listen. 
this spirit attacks people how will you know this thing is attacking you some people have dreams they see themselves walking and they get to a junction they don't know where they are going they turn back again I heard a, a, a story of a certain man who had similar dream like that he dreamt and saw himself at the crossroad and he didn't know where he was going the road to take so he turned back and listen the man didn't take this dream serious that a way was open for him and to travel outside he traveled there but they deported him back you see he went there and returned later he realized it was the arrow of this crossroads being released against him amen so some people have been having dreams like that they are just walking to some junction crossroads they don't know which one to take they are standing there and turn back so that is retrogression setbacks confusion you want to take decision you don't know which one this year you want to run business and there are two businesses that come to your mind which one where should i enter this crossroads will come and you are confused the time you realize you take the wrong business amen and you enter a running depth but I prophesy, if you are under the oppression and influence of this spirit, be delivered in Jesus' name. Be set free in Jesus' name. Be liberated tonight in Jesus' name. Say, I am free from the crossroad spirit. Listen, people go to the crossroad, physical crossroad, huh, to erect demonic altars there against people. People do a lot of wicked sacrifices. Why not any place but the crossroad? There are they invoke the crossroad spirit against people. Hallelujah. Your business can be doing well. They will go and offer sacrifice, mention your name against you. And this spirit, they will invoke it against your business. And it is going nowhere. It's stuck there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You go and see some millet, some cola nut, some coins, and some things they get poor at the crossroad. They are invoking that spirit against someone to fight somebody's progress, somebody's success, somebody marriage, somebody business, somebody education. Hallelujah. They say some things and pour them and, and walk away. And they are suffering. Hallelujah. Because to, inv to, to, to provoke a power against somebody or to invoke a wicked spirit against someone, you must sacrifice. So they understand that if they sacrifice to this spirit there at this crossroad, uh, we will succeed. It will fight for us. So they have been doing evil sacrifices there against people. Hallelujah. Any sacrifice like that on any crossroad against any of you, let it backfire to send that. Uh, if your amen can be louder, the faster, let it backfire to send that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it backfire to send her. That is not your portion. They can't get you. They can't have you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. You see things where once going faster and faster. All of a sudden things are slow. Things are delaying. Things are just going back. You don't understand. Check yourself. It may be this a crossroad spirit that is doing that. Hallelujah. But tonight, if you are under the influence of this spirit, you are free. By this prophetic word, you are free. Ah, if you believe it, I say you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ, that power cannot hold you. Be down loose. Because Jesus needs you. You have a destiny. You have a destiny. You have a destiny. So if you are not loosed from that power, it means you can't fulfill that destiny. Listen, the destiny of this donkey was to carry Jesus into Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Was to what? Carry Jesus. The enemy foresaw the destiny of the donkey and said, no, I will go and tie you somewhere. Hunger will kill you. This Jesus will not use you. So the crossroad power saw the destiny of the donkey. And they went and pound him by the crossroad. Who will come and lose you? Let us see. Whether this Jesus can come and use you. So Jesus wants to use many people. The enemy have seen it. And they have pound you. And said, let the Jesus use you. Let us see in this family. In this community. But I see the Lord lose you. 
I say, I see the Lord lose you. You have been released tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. They are fighting you because of who you are. They are fighting you because of the honor ahead of you. They are fighting you because of the red carpet you are going to walk on. That is why they are not sleeping. They are sending you to places here and there, offering sacrifices against you. Evil sacrifices. Let it backfire to them now. I said, let it backfire to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you are watching me from, let it backfire to send that in Jesus' name. You cannot be delayed. You cannot be restricted. You cannot be blocked. You cannot be hindered. I release you tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. But I know. Yes. But whatever that was written concerning this donkey, it came to pass. It was written, is this donkey that Jesus will ride and enter into Jerusalem. And the enemy saw that and said, no, this will not happen. And they went and tied. Jesus was not in that city. But he saw in the spirit, ah, they have bound the one that I want to use. I have to send my apostle to go and lose it. That's why Jesus sent me as his prophet to lose you tonight. Jesus has sent me as his prophet to set you free tonight. And I prophesy upon your destiny. If any power binds your destiny, let it be released now. I prophesy upon your life. Anything they used to bind you, anything they used to tie you, let it scatter in Jesus' name. Let it break in Jesus' name. Let it break in Jesus' name. Be it ancestral chains that have bound you, foundational chains that have bound you, be it occultic chains, witchcraft chains, marine chains, let them be loose. Let them be loose. Let them be loose. Let them be loose in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Bring a mic. They must be loosed. You will have your total liberty tonight in Jesus' name. Say, I must go free tonight. From my stagnant position. Listen, one lady wanted to marry many years. No husband. Mm. She was struggling. She completed the university. No job. She knew big, big people around her, but none of them could help her. Big, big people on higher seats in Ghana here, none could help her. She was stuck in life. Amen. Amen. Until she came to have an encounter with this grace. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. After I pray for her and give her prophetic direction, and she yes. followed her. You saw the testimony today. Some of you are on the platform. Eh? Yes. How many of you read the testimony? Lift your hand. Mm. You read it. Yes. Daddy, you read it. You read the testimony. She had a new job and she got wedded. Amen. She had a husband. Amen. After the encounter. Amen. 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 You. Amen. There are a lot of great plans. A lot of good plans. But you keep on seeing yourself back, back in your dreams. You always see yourself in your village, your play, school that you completed long, just old, old places, or old, old friends. You don't understand. In your dreams. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Huh? yes true. Is it true? It's true. Huh? It's true. You see now. And you are just standing like that. Do you tell me that? Huh? No, no. No. I didn't, no. Listen, he had been having dreams of seeing himself and where he was once be in schools that he completed many years. Sometimes he sees struggling writing exams. It's true. Huh? It's true. Oh, somebody clap better unto Listen, the Lord. And this is the attack of this crossroad spirit. This man did not tell me anything, but the Lord opened my eyes to see that this spirit is fighting him. It's true. And many of you are victims. Yes. To this spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. And anytime you have that dream like that, when you are expecting something good, you don't get it again. It's, eh? it's true. Eh? It's true. Today, I decree and declare, let this crossroad spirit, 
Let you go. In Jesus' name. Just hold my hand. Walk three times to me. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. You are out of the Spirit. Amen. You are out of the attack of that power. Amen. Wherever you are, I declare deliverance over you now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is an error. He's a great man. It is good for women to help their husband. But when all the time women are helping you, it's an error. It is good for you to help your, uh, your, your wife help you. Women to help their husband. But if all the time you are, is your wife feeding you, it's an error. Say it's an error. It's an error. It's an error. You are trying hard, but the enemy wants to now make your wife to be the head, to be taking care of the family. Mm. The devil is reducing you and reducing you. But today the error is corrected. Amen. Sometime before his salary will come, he finished spending the salary. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's true. He will do this, borrow this, do this, and be in debt waiting for it. When they come, go here, this money, go here, and just film. Everything is gone. Huh? It's true. You tell me. No, no, no. You want the error to be corrected tonight? Yes. You want it to be corrected? Tonight? Yes. Give me oil. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Any of you, this spirit is fighting your finances. Any of you, this spirit is fighting your destiny. I bring you out. I bring you out. Give me oil. This man, you will go free. You will go free. You will go free. You crossroad spirits that witches are using to fight you, that witchcraft are releasing against you. I release you today completely. Money will meet money in your accounts. That's your financial side. You are delivered. Amen. I say you are delivered in your financial Amen. Now, your salary will enter your hands. Amen. It will not go to some people's pockets again. Amen. God wants to correct your financial errors. Bring your two hands. This year, look at me. Money. Money. <laughs> Wait and see. Kalabayata. Amen. Raka Talamala Satala. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes you hear the voice, you, you are rich. You are rich. But you always are how? Where will the money come from? Where? How? How? Just like that. You always hear your be like your mind telling you that you are rich. Yes. Eh? Yes, it's true. You are always oh, hearing your mind. Somebody would you clap better unto the Lord. Listen. Now, don't don't use your mind to counter attack. That is the Holy Spirit. You know you are a prophet. So the Holy Spirit always ministering to you who you are. Don't let your flesh reject what you are always hearing. It is possible. The riches have seen it. And it will manifest. Amen. It will manifest. It will manifest. Amen. Listen. You have a very good heart. When you see somebody struggling, in fact, you feel it. You feel it. It will be like, if you have, this person will not be suffering this way. You have that heart. That heart of love. This year, God will start manifesting his, his love to you. Amen. Are you getting me? He yes. will put money in your hands. Amen. And I've seen that you will help a lot of people. Amen. Listen, I see you paying school fees for people, children, this, that, scholarship. It's going to happen. Amen. It's going to happen. Believe. Yeah, mark it. It's going to take place. Uh, remove your baby. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. 
Christ. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ. Release him. Release him. Release him. say inside mic when I see something and it's not for it's not I will say it outside microphone listen there are a lot of people that are willing to help you but anytime the desire comes for them to help you something will happen they will change their mind. Somebody was planning to surprise you with something. But all of a sudden, they changed their mind. I've seen a lot of helpers around you. And some of them are helping you with math. <laughs> some are helping you with math. Huh? It is true. Uh, it's very true. Very true. I have met people, big, big people. Then we will discuss things and then finally we just go. You discuss and finally just go off. There is a spirit following you. And that have to go. Today, I command that power. That is turning the heart and the mind of your helpers from you. Let that power some assault. Amen. Let that power some assault. Amen. Break the neck and die. Amen. Be held this year. Be held this year. Be held this year. Receive help this year. Receive my help. Lord. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. It is that love for Jesus. Love better somebody. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Step off your hand toward the altar. I speak in the name of Jesus Christ. You are out of crossroads spirits. That crossroads that you are standing, confused, you don't know where to turn, you don't know where to go. I bring you out from that place now. The yoke this crossroad spirit has put on you be broken, be broken, be broken in Jesus' Christ's name. The delay is declared over, the stagnation is declared over. 
move forward this year. Advance. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the way be smooth for you. Let the crooked path be made straight. In. And let the valley before you be exalted. Let the hill before you be level. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And any monitoring power that is monitoring you around, like this young man, God has revealed the woman that follow her around to stop her, his liberty. Any monitoring power at the junction, at the crossroad, asking you who sent you to deliver, asking your helpers who sent you to help this one. Let them all be paralyzed there in Jesus. Those that are asking your helpers who sent you to help this one who sent you to change this one story let them be paralyzed in Jesus name my God paralyze them they can't stop your helpers from helping you they can't stop your growth they can't stop your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ shout I am free from crossroad spirit three times free In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, clap for Jesus Christ, clap for Jesus. It is done, it is done, it is done, it is done. In Jesus Christ's name, you are all free. Pray this prayer. Amen. Lift up your hand. Thank you, Lord. Say, You crossroads spirit, you crossroads spirit, assigned to hold my life stuck, assigned to hold. Lose me and let me go. Clap your hands and pray that prayer. Lose me and let me go. Every crossroad spirit, crossroad power, assigned to hold my destiny, assigned to hold my lifestyle. Lose me and let me go. You cannot hold me. You cannot stop me. You cannot delay me. I say, lose me. Let me go. 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 Me, a sign to delay me. Release me now in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. In Jesus Christ, now we pray. Amen. Say you crossroad demons. You crossroad demons holding me at the junction. Holding me at the junction. Hold me at the junction. What do you think you are doing? What do you think you are doing? Release me now. Your hands and pray. You crossroad powers that are holding me at the junction. What do you think you are doing? At the crossroads. Release me, let me go. What do you think you are doing? Release me now. Release me and let me go in the name of Jesus Christ today. In Jesus Christ, now pray. 